and welcome back to another big sis advice video it is super hot here in the netherlands like i love it it's summertime finally so a refreshing kombucha is much needed this is so delicious i bought three boxes of this tea zen um when i went to korea but i definitely should have brought more because this is just heaven i don't know if you guys are also k-pop stands but if you're into K-pop, this is JK's fave. So, you know, that already says a lot. The lemon flavor, highly recommend. Um, but yeah, that is not what this video is about today. I asked you guys to send me questions on Instagram because I thought it would be fun to do another Big Sis Advice uh, Q&A. So you guys sent a lot of different things and so I have a lot of subjects to talk about. So without any further ado, let's get started right away. So one of the questions that's not necessarily Big Sis Advice related, but that I do want to answer is about my jewelry because i get a ton of questions from you guys where is your jewelry from what is your favorite jewelry brand what kind of jewelry pieces can you recommend especially more affordable ones um so i am very happy to announce that this video is in collaboration with Anna Luisa. If you have been following me for a long time now, then you will know that I wear my Anna Luisa pieces every single day. I even sleep in them. Uh, I even shower with them. I swim with them on and they do not tarnish. Like for example, these big pearl earrings. Um, let me get a look closer let me get very personal with you guys these are my faves and i literally never take these off also this big necklace which actually came in a set is one that i wear almost every single day i alternate my necklaces a lot more than my earrings but this is also one of my favorite pieces and i recently got two new additions to my everyday stash and those are these gorgeous bracelets. So first of all, we have this bracelet with the three green bars and that's malachite. And as you guys know, I love crystals and the power of crystals. So it's really nice that now I wear malachite with me every single day. And then we also have the raven gold chain here, uh, which I am obsessed with because it's kind of like a twisted bracelet it's also kind of like two bracelets in one even these parts are so beautiful i mean look at this little dagger dangling on your wrist i am obsessed you guys so this one is 14k gold on recycled sterling silver and this raven one is 14k gold on brass and ugh, i'm just in love with these delicate pieces again that are perfect for everyday use um they don't bother me at all they're not too chunky uh they're just perfect jewelry that you can also sleep in which is huge for me because like i said i don't like to take things off so they need to be small enough that they don't bother me throughout the day or with working out for example uh so for those kind of pieces and a louis size absolutely perfect 100 of their pieces are strength and humidity tested they are backed by a two-year warranty and they have been tested against allergies tarnishing etc so you can trust the quality of these pieces and also best thing is that if you're not satisfied for whatever reason they will send you a new product or reimburse your money no further questions asked and i also really love these small pearl hoops that i've been wearing a ton i also get a lot of questions about these so yeah i just wanted to mention that anna luisa you can get 20 percent off with my discount code sandvander20 and they offer free u.s shipping and very affordable shipping in for example other countries or uh, the european union so uh yeah 
everything is listed down below all the information with the coupon code and the links to the products and then i do also get a lot of questions about my rings but those are all family heirlooms so i don't have links for those and now let's get into the girl talk q a or big sis i keep calling it girl talk even though i tried to change the name but big sis advice q a so the first question is how don't you give a fuck filming in public not scared to post Okay guys, well, it may seem like I don't give a fuck because I make so much content also in all kinds of locations, whether I'm in South Korea and I'm filming in all of Young where I bought this product, or whether I'm on a beach and doing like a complete like bikini photo shoot. It may seem like I don't give a fuck because I'm posting so much, but actually it couldn't be further from the truth because um, just very recently this past week, a bikini brand asked me to film for them. The bikini brand was Black Bow, by the way, and this is what the video looked like. They asked me to film uh, an Instagram Reels. And so when I was there on that beach, I tried my hardest to make it into a really cute picnic moment. And I had bought all these groceries and did my whole setup. And there were a group of people sitting on this beach who were obviously drunk and they made the most nasty remarks. Like, this shoot wasn't sexual at all but they were constantly saying oh you're you must be an only fans model nothing against only fans models but you know what i mean like the vibe was just off they were clearly sexualizing me and making all these nasty remarks laughing and the worst part was that they were not talking directly to me they were actually talking to each other about me but then loud enough so i could hear it and that was actually the first time in a long time that i actually started crying so i finished off my shoot i looked at the result and i was still really happy with it and i was like you know what those people they're hating on me but it says more about them than it says about me i'm just here living my life i'm doing my job and if every time somebody says something mean or doesn't agree with what i do or thinks that it's ridiculous or cringy if then i stop doing what i love to do aka making content for you guys then i wouldn't become successful whatsoever then i would live a life that's based on a fulfillment of other people instead of my own fulfillment and instead of constantly seeking acknowledgement from others prove that they agree with you prove that they like you I think of it as this is proof that they are in the wrong. This is proof that they are lame. This is proof that they are mean instead of proof that I'm not successful or that I'm doing something wrong. So I hope that makes sense. That's kind of how I look at it. And then besides those awful moments where you actually do get criticized by people, I have to say that a lot of the times people don't even care. So 99% of the time when I'm out and about with my tripod, people might look at me for a couple of seconds, but then they just go on with their own day. Most of the time, nobody cares that much about you that they will actually have an opinion about it like most people just go on with what they were doing so if you're at a beach like most people are just focused on building sand castles with their children or swimming or tanning and just like you don't judge every single person you come across um they won't judge you and even if they do like what happened to me it won't affect their life 10 years from now or even like a week from now they won't even think about that moment anymore so in the long run it makes more difference that you do what you love and that you try to build your brand or create something that you love or um explore a certain hobby than those people hating on you for one second then it's time for the next question by the way all the products that i use in this video are listed down below in the description box with the direct links and with uh, coupon codes why do all my friends get asked out but i don't okay so i actually chose this specific question because i feel like it is very similar to the last question at the end of the day I always forget that this thing talks, but at the end of the day, you are the only person that matters in your life. It's about your dreams, your desires, and your goals, and not about those of all the other people in your life. So 
I think the main reason why this happens is because you focus on other people so much. You focus on them hanging out with boys, you focus on their dating life instead of your own. Um, I feel like it's just even a subconscious thing that if you start comparing yourself to others, you're less likely to succeed in whatever you do, whether it's business related or personal like this. When you start just living your own life and focusing on what you want, you start attracting the things that you desire. And so my best advice is that um, instead of worrying too much, just let it happen. Um, forget about all those other people. Yes, they might have a hundred guys that ask them out, but maybe all of them are trash. Or maybe even if those boys asked you out, they wouldn't even be your type. What I'm trying to say is the grass always seems greener on the other side. Um, so focus on yourself. And then, you know, if you see somebody that you really like, um, if you notice there is a guy in your neighborhood or even on social media, and he doesn't reach out to you, it doesn't mean that he doesn't like you. Maybe he just hasn't noticed you. So what I recommend is just taking a leap of faith and start talking to them yourself. It's not that just boys can reach out to girls. Girls can also reach out to boys and there's nothing wrong with that. If this is an in-person thing, then just walk up to somebody like for example if you're still in school and this guy is in the same class as you then after class just casually ask him something about the book that you guys have to read for literature class or just you know make small talk that's really important and then you can kind of you know estimate the vibe is he feeling me and if so then you know you can ask him out there's nothing wrong with that girl power um, and if this is something that is happening on, for example, social media, I recommend just sliding into somebody's DM. Again, I feel like those gender rules that like a guy should always ask a girl out, that's kind of outdated, isn't it? Take the power into your own hands and don't focus on what your friends are doing or receiving or getting in their lives too much. Uh, just be happy for them instead of jealous because Jealousy is a disease, it's the worst feeling, and it's not gonna get you anywhere. Then next up, now that my skin is all nice and moisturized, by the way, this device, a total lifesaver, you guys. I think they tested this and said that it makes your skincare absorb like 5,000 times faster or something. So um, yeah, I always use that. But I always feel like when I'm talking and doing my skincare, I keep like moving over the same parts because I'm so focused on what I'm saying. I don't think I'm actually very good at multitasking. Uh, but yeah, basically, you just make little circles around your face. I always try to explain this because some people are like very confused, like what is that? But it's an HR booster age, that's what it's called. And now on to a mask. Um, I'm so excited for this one because I actually bought it whilst I was in South Korea. And heart leaf is an ingredient that's very calming and soothing and that was everywhere when I was in Seoul. It's like one of the most popular skincare ingredients of this year. Um, and I got the JM Solution Mask. So let's give this a go. This is such an exciting moment. Ta-da! Oh, there's so much essence in this mask. It's like super wet. Oh, and so cooling. It's also a very good tip to um put your store your face masks in the fridge especially right now during summertime that feels so refreshing i didn't even store this one in a fridge but it immediately feels cooling so imagine if i would have done that that would have been even better uh but yeah now i've turned into a little ghosty call me casper okay um next question and i think this will be the last question what to do where say on a first date oh first dates are so exciting but also so nerve-wracking at the same time so first what to do is always meet in a public space i don't care if you already know this person if they are already a friend of yours or if you've met them through a dating app like then 
especially if you met them through a dating app, this should be your top priority. But even if you already know them, please meet up in a public space where there are a ton of people like in a little cute coffee cafe or maybe in a restaurant or uh, in a park or you do a little picnic somewhere uh, or you just go for a walk or you go to the beach just go somewhere public because the last thing you want is if the date doesn't go well then you're stuck somewhere in somebody's house that's one very scary but also very awkward so yeah public space definitely then what to do i a talker so I don't care that much about activities like I could be in a room with somebody and if I want to get to know them which I want to get to know them on a first date then I want to be able to actually have a conversation so those are the kind of activities that I will do it's just drink something walk somewhere eat something so that I have enough time to ask questions but if you feel a little bit more awkward and you feel like you know talking isn't really your forte then maybe you can do an, a real activity like for example go bowling like these are activities that I don't like guys but imagine you really love bowling or you love mini golf or you love um going to an amusement park or if you feel really crafty then you go do a workshop or you go do like a cooking class together. I wouldn't recommend going to the movies on a very first date because that's just so awkward like what are you going to do like watch the movie the whole time like or kiss obviously but on a first date you want to get to know them right so don't go to the movies go somewhere where you can talk uh, chit chat but if you feel more comfortable with that you can also be busy with a certain something so that if there is an awkward silence you can just go on with your mini golfing and then what to wear also really good question um definitely wear something that makes you feel comfortable i feel like everybody says this and it's like a no-brainer but remember how i always talk about rompers i like go on and on about it that i love them so much but I love it because then I don't have to worry about flashing anybody. I can just walk around in my romper freely, uh, dance freely, do whatever. Whereas with a dress, I definitely feel more restricted. So even though it looks cute and it's definitely part of my style because I do have that girly girly style, um, I would always wear a romper to a first date just because that makes me a little bit more comfortable. Also wear something that's like nice as in you clearly show that you make an effort that you actually put thought into your look but don't overdo it like don't overdress but also don't underdress like show them appreciation by dressing up nicely but stick to your own style so that the next time you meet them you're not just a completely different person all of a sudden also don't worry about this too much because if they don't like you for who you are or what you normally would wear, then they're already not a good match. And then what you say, I definitely would ask a ton of questions. Uh, first of all, because psychologically speaking, this is a tactic because people apparently just really love talking about themselves. So I've heard that psychological research has shown that if you are the one who asks the most questions and you let the other person speak a lot, then they're more likely to like you. That's kind of weird, but it does make sense in some way. Um, and also, not only because of that, I feel like it would be a little bit mean to just show interest because you want them to like you, but also because you want to get to know this person and want to know if they're on your level, so you might as well just ask anything. And I also wouldn't be afraid to go in depth with somebody um, on all my first dates, which there aren't a lot, like I literally dated two people in my life um, and also didn't go out on any other like dates because I'm, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> on those occasions from the very start, I went very deep with those people and immediately spoke about subjects that may be hard for other people to talk about because I want to get that initial connection because I want to know if they can handle what I've been through because I want to know how they respond to certain things. So don't be afraid to ask um, important questions like, 
do they want children how do they see themselves in five years is there something that they are afraid of do they have a good relationship with their parents um for some people that might be a little bit intimidating but i feel like that is the way to get to know somebody and to bond really quickly and then maybe also really important what not to say it is so wrong to criticize somebody on a first date i mean it can happen obviously that somebody just isn't what they look like on their pictures or it, it just isn't what you expected the vibe isn't there but don't go and criticize somebody because they might be feeling really insecure just like how you are feeling insecure so i would just always keep it polite keep it nice and be honest as well so when they ask like oh do you want to go out on a second date it is okay to say no obviously but don't be rude about it like don't comment on their looks don't say that it's because they don't look like their pictures like keep it polite i feel like there's already so much negativity in this world so um yeah you can say that you're not interested but don't be mean about it um and yeah besides that i feel like there are no rules when it comes to first dates whether you decide to sleep with somebody on the first date or whether you decide to not do that whatever it doesn't matter as long as you feel comfortable with it i feel like comfort is the key word here and that was it guys that was it for this video i'm now just gonna let my mask sit for a little bit longer and then show you guys the full result and give you a little review of this heart leaf mask of my first impression um yeah so i will see you in about 10 minutes okay it is a little bit later and now Oh, that heart leaf mask was so good. It was super calming, guys. Oh, this little piece of hair is stuck to my forehead now. It was super calming, super cooling, and oh, my skin feels so refreshed right now. So that was the video for today. Make sure to check out Ana Luisa, guys. My discount code, once again is sandfander20 for 20% 20 off this gorgeous jewelry and yeah um i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day bye bye oh and if you have any more bixis advice questions then let me know in the comments down below and i might answer them in my next video okay that was it bye bye